we just heard a we just heard a fascinating talk by uh, a leader of a department in Newcastle who is doing a very progressive plan. I, I think that for departments as mine, we have to be more progressive. We have to not essentially break the law, of course, that's not allowed, but I think we should do something really setting target goals and try to get an improvement of our gender balance. Um, okay, well, this is a very complex subject, and I think for Aarhus right now, they're doing some really good things, and maybe the focus area now has to be on what to do to limit the effects of unconscious gender bias. So it's not enough just to know it's there. You have to figure out how to limit it, how to make sure you can kind of fence it off from decision-making processes. Well, I think an important point is to continue to monitor this, this issue carefully. Look at developments in the area and keep and, or, and hold the department heads kind of accountable for developments in their areas. So, so look into the actual progress in women's representation at different levels. Well, I think we're all experimenting. So we don't really know what is the fix, the way of doing it. The way we have addressed it at CVS is first get the facts in order. Be sure that you're not just preaching an ideology, but you also have facts. And, you know, if you're a department with a very low percentage of women and you see it on a piece of paper and you see another department has a very much higher proportion of women, then you feel that you must perform. So simply having the facts is part of the process. And secondly, you must have a leadership awareness uh, not just at the top of the university, or the director, but also the department heads. That is extremely important. If you don't have the department heads following and focusing on the agenda, then you can't achieve your goals.